Sir David Frank Ajaye Obe Ra, born the 22nd of September 1966, is a Ghanaian British architect. He is known for designing many notable buildings around the world, including the National Museum of African American History and Culture in Washington, D.C. Convinced my parents that I should do it. I should do this. I should follow this profession, even though they didn't have any sort of help in any way to guide me with it. Um, and in a way, the gold medal, you know, and the acknowledgement of my peers really is, for me, an unshackling to really absolutely um, deliver the vision that I've been sort of working through for the last 25 years of my career um, and to and to be bold about it and to really um, to really celebrate it in the world and that's an incredibly humbling. Ajaye was knighted in 2017 New Year Honours for Services to Architecture. He is the recipient of the 2021 Royal Gold Medal, making him the first black recipient and one of the youngest recipients. Ajaye was born in Dar es Salaam, Tanzania. The son of a Ghanaian diplomat, he lived in Tanzania, Egypt, Yemen and Lebanon before moving to Britain at the age of nine. Upon graduating with a BA in architecture from London Southbank University in 1990, he was nominated for the Reba President's Medals, and won the Reba Bronze Medal for the best design project produced at BA level worldwide. He graduated with an MA in 1993 from the Royal College of Art. In 1993, the same year of graduation, Ajaye won the Reba Bronze Medal Award, a prize offered for Reba Part 1 projects, normally won by students who have only completed a bachelor's degree. Previously a unit tutor at the Architectural Association, he was also a lecturer at the Royal College of Art. He was knighted in the 2017 New Year Honours for Services to Architecture, following an OBE in 2007. Ajaye is the recipient of the 2021 Royal Gold Medal. Given in recognition of a lifetime's work, the Royal Gold Medal is approved personally by Her Majesty the Queen and is given to a person or group of people who have had a significant influence, either directly or indirectly on the advancement of architecture. Early works include many residential projects such as Chris Affili's House in 1999, Dirty House and Glass House in 2002, and Lorna Simpson's Studio Home in 2006. He then moved on to larger scale, eight projects such as the Idea Store in Whitechapel, UK and the Nobel Peace Centre in Oslo, Norway in 2005. The studio's first solo exhibition, David Ajaye, Making Public Buildings, was shown at the Whitechapel Gallery in London in January 2006, with Thames and Hudson publishing the catalogue of the same name. This followed their 2005 publication of Ajay's first book, David Ajaye Houses. Other prominent early works include the Bernie Grant Arts Center and the Stephen Lawrence Center in 2007. Ajaye was selected to design the Museum of Contemporary Art Denver which opened in 2007. The building, Ajay's first museum commission, was designed to minimize boundaries between the exterior spaces of the city and the interior galleries of the museum. Hidden skylights fill the interior spaces with natural light, and large windows look out on the city streets. The building has five galleries as well as dedicated education spaces, a shop, library and rooftop cafe. Ajaye won a competition to design the Moscow School of Management Skolkovo which was completed in 2010. Rejecting the traditional campus style, the building is designed as one form to encourage student interaction. Ajaye designed two new neighborhood libraries in Washington, D.C., the Francis A. Gregory Neighborhood Library and the Bellevue, William O. Lockridge Library which opened in 2012. The award-winning libraries are celebrated for being community beacons. In 2015, the Aishti Foundation, a mixed art gallery and retail space, opened in Beirut, Lebanon. The gallery space is over 40,000 square feet. Ajay's design marries art viewing with shopping, two seemingly conflicting experiences. On the 15th of April 2009, Ajaye was selected lead architect for the team of architects, which includes the Freelong Group, Davis Brody Bond and Smith Group, to design the new $540 million National Museum of African American History and Culture, a Smithsonian Institution Museum, on the National Mall in Washington, D.C. His design features a crown motif from Yoruba sculpture. 
The museum opened in the fall of 2016 and was named the Cultural Event of the Year by the New York Times. It was also the subject of a profile on the Sky Arts program The Art of Architecture in 2019. In 2007, artist Linda Pace reached out to Ajaye to design a contemporary art center for her art collection shortly before she died from breast cancer that year. Ruby City, located in San Antonio, Texas, opened in 2019. Alongside his international commissions, Ajay's work spans exhibitions, private homes and furniture. He built homes for the designer Alexander McQueen, artist Jake Chapman, photographer Jürgen Teller, actor Ewan McGregor, and artists Tim Noble and Sue Webster. For artist Chris Affili, he designed a new studio and a beach house in Port of Spain, Trinidad. Ajaye is also known for his collaborations with contemporary artists on installations and exhibitions. He worked with Affili to create an environment for the Upper Room, which was later acquired by Tate Britain and caused a nationwide media debate. Ajaye collaborated with artist Olafa Eliasson to create a light installation, Your Black Horizon, at the 2005 Venice Biennale. He has also worked on the art project Sankalpa with director Shekhar Kapoor. In May 2019, the Ghana Freedom Pavilion, designed by David, was inaugurated at the 58th Venice Art Biennale. He also designed the 56th Venice Art Biennale with the late curator Okwui Enwazul, the River Reading Room for the Guangzhou Biennale, and the Sclera Pavilion for the London Design Festival. Ajaye co-authored two seasons of BBC's Dream Spaces television series and hosts a BBC radio programme. In June 2005, he presented the documentary Building Africa, Architecture of a Continent. In 2008, he participated in Manifesto 7 and the Guangzhou Biennale. Making Place, the architecture of David Ajaye was on display at the Art Institute of Chicago from September 2015 to January 2016. In November of 2020, Ajaye published his latest book works 1995 to 2007, Houses, Pavilions, Installations, Buildings, 30, with Peter Allison and Thames and Hudson. Most recently, in 2021, the Cherry Gross Memorial Pavilion was completed. Commissioned by the Cherry Gross Foundation, the memorial is in honor of Cherry Gross, who was shot in her home by the Metropolitan Police in front of her children on September 28, 1985. Recent works include interiors for the SEIU 1199 healthcare workers east in New York City. The Webster in Los Angeles, California, 2020, Mole House in London, UK, 2019, Ruby City in San Antonio, Texas, 2019, Macarta Switching Station in Newark, New Jersey, 2018, Sugar Hill Mixed Use Development in Harlem, New York, 2015, Alara Concept Store in Lagos, Nigeria, 2015, Aishti Foundation in Beirut, Lebanon, 2015. In 2015, Ajaye was commissioned to design a new home for the Studio Museum in Harlem. In March 2018, Ajaye Associates designs for the National Cathedral of Ghana were unveiled by Ghanaian President Nana Addo Dankwa Akufo Addo. In September 2020, Ajaye unveiled his designs for the Princeton University Art Museum. That same year, he also unveiled his designs for the Thabo Mbeki Presidential Library as well as the Martyrs Memorial in Niamey, Niger. In November 2020, Ajaye revealed his vision for the Edo Museum of West African Art, Wikidata, which will be built in Benin City, Nigeria next to the Oba's Palace. Ajaye Associates Building will house historic art and artifacts as well as incorporate galleries dedicated to contemporary arts. Ajaye established his practice in 2000 as Ajaye Associates. The firm now operates globally with offices in Accra, London, and New York and has completed projects in Europe, North America, the Middle East, Asia, and Africa. Ajaye was the first Louis Kahn visiting professor at the University of Pennsylvania, and was the Kenzo Tanga Professor in Architecture at Harvard Graduate School of Design. In addition, he is a Reba Chartered member, an AIA Honorary Fellow, a Foreign Honorary Member of the American Academy of Arts and Letters, and a Senior Fellow of the Design Futures Council.
He is a member of the Advisory Council of the Barcelona Institute of Architecture and also serves as member of the Advisory Boards of the Barcelona Institute of Architecture and the LSE Cities Programme. In 2014, Ajaye married Ashley Shaw Scott. Chris Affili was his best man. Ajaye has also worked on numerous collaborative projects with his brother Peter Ajaye, a musician. In 2018, along with Bono and Theaster Gates, Ajaye curated the third, red, auction in Miami to support the Global Fund's work against AIDS, raising a total $10.5 million including matching funds by the Bill and Melinda Gates Foundation. In 2006, Ajaye was shortlisted for the Sterling Prize for the Whitechapel Idea Store, built on the remains of a 1960s mall. He was appointed Officer of the Order of the British Empire OBE, in 2007 for services to British architecture. In 2016 he received the Massachusetts Institute of Technology's McDermott Award, a $100,000 prize for excellence in the arts. That same year, he was elected to the American Philosophical Society. Ajaye was knighted in the 2017 New Year Honors for Services to Architecture. In 2018, Ajaye received the Washington University International Humanities Medal. In 2019, he was a member of the Pre-Versailles World Judges Panel. In October 2020 Ajaye was announced as the Reba Royal Gold Medal winner for 2021, awarded annually by the Royal Institute of British Architects on behalf of the British Monarch in recognition of an individual's or group's substantial contribution to international architecture. His net worth has been growing significantly in 2020-2021. So, how much is David Ajaye worth at the age of 55 years old? David Ajaye's income source is mostly from being a successful architect. We have estimated David Ajaye's net worth, money, salary, income, and assets. As at August 2021 Ajay's net worth was about $10 million. Presently, David Ajaye is the 8th richest architect in the world and the richest black architect. Thanks for watching. Please like and subscribe to my channel and press the bell icon to get new video updates.